Uh, Mike, I'm so delighted that you brought people here who are involved, who need to be empowered, and let us know exactly what needs to be done. So thank you, Mike, for your leadership, and I appreciate the opportunity to be here. Karen, thank you. Our, our next speaker is the Venerable Hong Gott, who is uh, with the Buddhist temple. He's actually from Indiana, but he worked to set up temples in the south, including Biloxi, Mississippi, and he's been working with some of the, the victims at the temple there. This disaster has also exposed what appears to be a gradual lack of responsiveness from also uh, disaster response organizations like FEMA, Red Cross, and so on. Uh, the cause um, may be because of the language and the cultural barriers. So my purpose of uh, talking today to you is to describe um, what I have uh, done in Biloxi and what I have witnessed over there. So I hope that my testimony uh, will help you to make your uh, decision uh, in the effort of helping the uh, people over there. Uh, again, my name is Tintan Nath. I'm a Buddhist monk, uh, originally from uh, southern Indiana, but I uh, have the uh, opportunity to uh, come down there to help uh, the local people in the last era for the first uh, week after the hurricane. Um, when I was there, I organized the relief efforts, uh, provide uh, the spiritual needs for the local people, also the distribution of food and uh, supplies, and dispense some cash for them. Actually, we got the cash from our uh, Vietnamese local people in uh, southern Indiana and uh, Louisville, Kentucky. And presently, uh, I am taking care of a young boy who lost his mother in New Orleans uh, recently. So um, during this kind of um, uh, natural disaster, uh, like uh, the other people just um, uh, mentioned recently, you see that there's some kind of problems. I think the main problem is the language and the cultural problems. The reason why somehow some of us could not get the assistance uh, easily from FIFA, Red Cross, and other non-government uh, agencies. Um, I was there for last couple, uh, last couple of weeks, and um, you know the uh, Vietnamese temple uh, was almost uh, uh, damaged because of the flooding. Uh, during the flooding, the, the water went up to the ceiling, and you know that above that, there's more than 50 of them. And if the wet water uh, came up to the top of that uh, chamber, all of them would die. But uh, fortunately, the water uh, went down, um, so somehow they could escape from the crowd. So, um, uh, after the hurricane, many Vietnamese uh, people because they lost their houses, and so they uh, sought for uh, shelter at our women's temple. And when it was there, I asked many times uh, the uh, Red Cross and other um, charities um, organization to have portable toilets, uh, portable shower room, um, a cooking facility, and so on. Um, for many days when they were there, um, they uh, brought uh, to us the only two portable toilets. And all the, well, the other thing that I request from them, I have not seen uh, even after they left. And even up to now, um, there are many people, because their house was destroyed, they could not go back to their, to their 
uh, home. So the reason why they still stay at the Buddhist temple, and they don't have mosquito nets um, to protect from the, um, this kind of the disease. So I asked many times about this kind of uh, request, but somehow um, they could not bring anything yet. So. Um, so basically, I like to um, uh, ask your help uh, because uh, our Vietnamese Buddhist uh, communities plus the Catholic or the Baptist communities will have the limited uh, resource. Um, so I uh, hope that um, uh, after listening to these uh, testimonies, you could pay attention on the needs of the local people, especially in the disaster area. And, um, Again, uh, I'd like to thanks uh, for allowing me to speak uh, today, and we would be happy to answer any question um, you may have. And before I start, I think some of you have uh, read um, some of the articles from St. Louis Post or, um, or the Chicago Tribune that uh, mention about my work. Uh, immigrants uh, ignore, they just mean that somehow during my times over there, I uh, try to speak up for the, um, the uh, victims, but somehow um, they could not uh, pay attention much. I mean, I'm talking about the FEMA. Especially in one case, uh, I tried to contact with the director of the FEMA office in Balasi, but somehow his assistant uh, didn't want me to talk with him directly. So again, thanks for your um, attention, and uh, please, um, extend your arm to help the big team over there. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we had invited uh, someone from Hope Clinic, which is the only Asian American community <coughs> organization in the um, Gulf area 